this section of the setup guide, I'm going to take you through powering on Passport, completing the supply chain validation with Envoy, our Passport companion app, and setting a device pin on Passport itself. Now it's worth mentioning here that of course you don't have to use Envoy, our companion app, to complete any of this. Users are free to uh, set up Passport on their own. They do not need Envoy at all to interact with Passport. It's just absolutely the easiest way to do so and I'm going to demonstrate that for you now. So I'm going to go ahead and power on Passport. And we have the welcome screen. Passport says, welcome to Passport. Congratulations on taking custody of your Bitcoin and reclaiming your sovereignty. So next up, Passport is going to ask us how we would like to set up the device. So in this instance, I'm going to choose Envoy app. We will have a separate guide on completing the manual setup. So if you don't already have the Envoy app installed on your phone, Passport will handily display a QR code that you can scan with your phone and be taken to the relevant application store. So I'm going to choose continue on Envoy. So I'm just going to tell Envoy that we are setting up a new Passport. And then we have the terms and conditions of use, which you can read through at your leisure. And once you've done so, you can press I accept. So Envoy now says, first let's make sure your Passport is secure. This security check will ensure your passport has not been tampered with during shipping. So Envoy is then going to display an animated QR code which passport needs to scan. Okay, so we've scanned that. I'm going to click next on Envoy. Now, Envoy wants to scan a QR code that passport is going to display to complete the supply chain validation. So I'm just going to tap continue on Envoy, give Envoy permission to use my camera and scan the QR code being displayed by Passport. And there we go, we have a confirmation message that our Passport is secure. If at this stage you were to see a, a message stating that your Passport is insecure, please do contact us at hello at foundationdevices.com so that we can uh, help you investigate what might have gone wrong. I'm just going to continue on Passport and we're going to confirm on the device itself that we have, the Envoy is indicating that we have passed the supply chain validation. So next up, we need to set Passport with a PIN. Now Passport uses a numeric PIN um, and you can choose from anywhere between six and 12 digits. The absolute minimum is six, so just for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, I'm just gonna set a six digit pin. And Passport then says, there is no way to recover a lost pin, so please ensure that you do back it up appropriately. Now obviously this pin is a highly insecure one and I don't advise you use the one that's being shown on screen right now. This is purely for demonstration purposes only. And there we have the pin set successfully on Passport and it is now ready for a firmware update.